trainer and paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Midget Sub. Just as Clutch finished another chapter in his adventure logbook, he received an urgent wire which caused him to hurry to the airport, hop into the plane with Spinner and Paddlefoot, and speedily start on a journey. Sorry I couldn't take time to tell you, Spinner. But here's the story. You've heard of the new atomic submarines. Yeah? Well, a new super-secret midget atomic submarine has been developed. It's only 25 feet long, but it can go all around the world underwater and needs a crew of only two men. Wow! That midget sub is now on the ocean bottom, about 10 miles off the island of Transform. It was being tested by the people who built it. And it either strayed off its course or was forced off. That's our mission. To raise the sub and get it back in American waters. Can it move at all? That's it, Spinner. The crew radioed that its atomic engine has stopped. They tried everything but couldn't restart it. They were ordered to abandon the sub. And that's the last thing that anyone has heard of them. Golly! And the sub was left right there? The official boats can't go near it. That's why we're going in Joe Papianica's boat at Guppy. Boy, we gotta go on a boat. Whoa, whoa. That sub has so many new secret devices, we've got to get there before any other country finds out about it. But as Clutch and company fly over the little fishing village and land on the outskirts of town, two unfriendly looking figures are watching them. Right on time. Here's Joe Papianicus now. Lunch, you got the message. You bet, Joe. It said urgent, so we didn't waste any time. You think I can drive the boat, Mr. Papianicus? We'll see, Spinner. We'll see. I take you now to the coffee. As Clutch and company travel toward the docks, a shiny black limousine with two men is headed toward them. I'd know that plane anywhere. It's clutch cargoes, all right. I saw it land. Yeah, if cargoes on the job, it's going to be a lot tougher. Don't worry, Blackie. We'll take care of him. Maybe we'll do something about it right now. Joe you know, Papionicus went after the his truck. I see them leave. Yeah, we ought to see him pretty soon. We'll make cargo wish he'd never come. I was told this submarine has an atomic engine and rocket devices that are so new, they are hardly even thought of yet. Wow! If we don't get to it first, some unfriendly country will throw it away and learn our secrets. We'll do our best to keep that from happening. Step on it, Joe. Look ahead, Blackie. Ain't that Papianica's truck coming? It sure is. What a habit. Look out, Joe. Somebody's driving sort of crazy like. They're headed right for us. No place to turn out. They're going to hit us. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Midget Sub. You remember last time Clutch and Company had flown to meet Joe Papianicus. Their mission to find a top secret midget atomic sub, which was lying on the ocean floor after the crew had been forced to abandon her. They had started for the guppy, Joe's boat. Suddenly, look out, Joe. Somebody's driving sort of crazy like. They're headed right for us. No place to turn out. They're gonna hit us. We, you. That was deliberate. Whoever it was is playing for keeps. Everybody okay? Yeah, Clutch. We're okay. It's got something to do with raising that sub. Someone's trying to stop us. Well, here she is, the good old guppy. Diving suits and food are already loaded. All we have to do is get started. Better get aboard right away. We can't waste a minute. Meanwhile, Shark and Blackie are also boarding a boat in a bay a few miles from the fishing village. 
Get a move on, Blackie. We've got work to do. The government of Transportania said they'd pay us plenty for that sub. Yeah, we're in the big leagues now, Shark. <laughs>
that. If you'd paid more attention to business... Honest, Shark, I felt bad. What are we going to do? Head for the mainland. I bet that's what they did. We'll never find that sub unless they lead us to it. And this time, keep your eyes open. As soon as we get back, we'll get the plane. Maybe we can spot the submarine from the air. I know, Clutch. The higher you get, the deeper you can see in the water. If those men in the black boat see us take off, they may think we've given up. Then, Joe, you bring the guppy back to the island. Right, Clutch. You start off in the opposite direction, so as to throw them off the scent. Sure. Cargo's blind. Did you think they gave up the search? No, I'll bet they headed back to the island. That's where we're going, too. Watch. I think I can see the stop. That's it, all right. We'll land on the island and get our diving gear. Watch out, Clutch and Spinner. This may be a trick. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo, with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot, in another exciting adventure, The Midget Sub. You remember last time, Clutch and company with Joe Papianicus hit the boat among the rocks to avoid Blackie and Shark, two ruthless thugs. Clutch and Spinner had returned to the island when... There she is, Clutch. I think I can see the sub. That's it, all right. Clutch, look. Something new. A raft floating near the island. And there's a man on it. It's Gooey. He's not moving a muscle. Gee, Clutch, do you think he's... Still alive? We'll soon find out. Clutch lands the plane on the shore of the island. That raft drifted almost up on the beach, Spinner. We'll be able to get to it in a hurry. Hope we're in time to save this poor fellow. Oh, well, I hope he's all right. He's still breathing. Wait till I turn him over. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's swampy. Well, why, Clutch Boy, fancy meeting you way out here. Swampy! What are you doing on this raft? Heard about that midget atomic sub that had to be abandoned. Heard you'd be here, so I started out in a boat. That storm capsized my boat, and this is how I ended up. But say, terrible thing waking a man out of a sound sleep like that. Liable to stunt his growth. <laughs> Clutch gets out the diving gear, which they had hidden on the island. Get on that frog band suit, Swampy. We've got a long way to go down. Golly, Clutch. Wish I could go with you. Not this time, Spinner. It's too dangerous. You and Paddlefoot be our lookout. Turn on this transistor radio and warn us if anyone else starts diving near us. Okay, Clutch. Anything to help. <laughs> Look at Mr. Swampy. You don't look so much like a frog man, Swampy. You look more like a frog. Jump in, Juniper Roach Clutch. I feel like a sausage packed into a allocation. <laughs> don't say that, Mr. Swampy. You make Paddlefoot too hungry. Meanwhile, Joe Papianicus has started back to the island in the guppy, not realizing that Shark and Blackie, who are also hunting for the sunken midget sub, are heading for the island at full speed. Okay, Swabby, we'll wade in from here and swim out. Put your mouthpiece in and turn on your oxygen as soon as we get in the water. Turn on the transistor radio spinner and listen for our signal when we get underwater. Okay, Clutch, gotcha. As Clutch and Swabby enter the water, Blackie and Shark reach the end of the island, cut their motor, and silently glide along, watching every move. There's Cargo's plane on the beach, and there he goes with another guy into the surf. That midget sub can't be far offshore. What do we do? Get into those frogman suits and follow them. Oh, no! It's that mysterious boat. we got a one clutch. Can you hear me, Swampy? You can, Clutch. What'll they pick up next? Clutch! Clutch! Those men in the black boat came back. They dove in just about where you went down. They got spear guns and knives, and they're coming after you. 
This is it, Swampy. They're out to get us. Can Clutch and Swampy win against guns and knives? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, the Midget Sub. Clutch and company found Swampy sleeping aboard a raft. He too was looking for the Midget Sub. Clutch and Swampy swam to the sub just as Blackie and Shark dove from their boat. Clutch! Clutch! Those men in the black boat came back. They dove in just about where you went down. They got spear guns and knives! Clutch and Swampy dive deeper and deeper to the spot where the sub is lying, with Shark and Blackie on the way down, too. A pair of ruthless thugs determined to get the midget atomic sub and not caring who gets hurt. Keep a sharp lookout for those men, Swampy. They're armed and dangerous. Clutch and Swampy swim toward the sub, not knowing that Shark and Blackie have already found her and are in ambush waiting for them. Here they come, Blackie. Wait till they've passed over us. Aim at the small one. I'll take the big one, man. Don't miss. Okay, boss. Parks in haste. What's your hurry, mister? Get his knife, Swampy. Get him in giraffes. I'm trying to find it. They did it. They captured the bad guys. Hooray. I've got the tow line hitched to the bow of the sub. Go ahead, Joe. Slowly, the midget submarine is pulled away from her resting place on the ocean floor and starts off on the voyage to her home port, while two sadder and wiser bad men are forced to paddle back to the mainland on Swampy's raft. There she is, Mr. Hunt, safe and sound, including all her secrets. I can't thank you all enough. You are wonderful, and you'll be glad to hear the missing crew is okay. They got picked up by a fishing boat that had no radio. Now here's a check for $5,000 for the job you did. No, Mr. Hunt. Thanks anyway. All we want is $15 for Swampy. For me? What for? Buy another raft to send you home on. Another raft? Up in Horn Toads? I know what... Oh, Clutch. You're kidding. <laughs> And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Midget Sub. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.